Hey everybody, very quick video here. Just like to ask my viewers a question. I'm seeing this thing in the comments. You know, my channel name is now Born Again Barbarian. Started out as Husky 394 XP. Then I went to KJVM dash Brian Denlinger for a while. And then I did Born Again Barbarian. Um, just to get, again, to explain it. Uh, barbarians in the Bible, what, or what my ancestors would have been called as Northern Europeans. Um, I'm not Jewish. Okay, I'm a Northern European. Um, my sister went and got the DNA testing done and whatever else, which I'm not for DNA testing, but you know, there's not any Jewish blood in me. Um, there's Jewish blood on me because Jesus died for my sins and his blood washed my sins away. But, uh, I'm not Jewish. Okay. Not any attack on the Jewish people or whatever else. I'm just, I'm a barbarian according to scripture. And I know that, you know, some people brought up the thing of, well, in the past, the Greeks called the Romans barbarians and whatever. So I guess and technically I'm talking biblical context. In the context of the New Testament, a barbarian is a Northern European. And I am born again. I've received a new birth. Well, what I'm seeing in the comments, I'm seeing this thing of people saying, this hyper dispensational thing of people say, well, we're not technically born again now. Um, that was for Jesus writing to the, to the Jewish people in John chapter 3. And so technically we're new creatures in Christ Jesus, but we're not really born again. And uh, it's hyper dispensationalism is all it is. Um, now, to me, it's just a common sense thing. If you're a new creature in Christ Jesus, your old man's buried with Christ. Romans chapter 6 talks about it. You're resurrected. You're, you're a new creature in Christ. Well, then you're born again. Right? It's just kind of a, well, duh. Um, but I'm seeing this thing and they're using, taking verses completely out of context. And so my question is, should I do a more detailed study on the fact that, yes, a Christian today is born again? All right. Should I do a more detailed study or just kind of leave it as, eh, don't waste time on the heretics? Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, and I just want to clarify another thing that I said um, and that is, I was saying about the thing of the Democrat versus Republican thing, and it's getting me stressed out. And I had a number of people say, well, you know, just don't watch television. Um, again, I didn't, I wasn't clear on that. I don't watch television. I don't watch news media. The only time I'll watch television is if it's a YouTube video, it's a sub subject that I'm studying. And I hear about there's rioting in Buffalo, New York after the snow blizzards. Really, let me go check out what the local news is saying about that. And that's real. That happened during the Christmas holiday just a few days ago. Um, pretty insane. But that's the only time I watch television. I uh, heard about the, you know, Bruce Mejia thing out there with uh, one of the Stephen Anderson cult guys. And they had this church bombing thing. And so I watched local news reports on it. Um, but I don't watch television. We don't own a television. Okay, I live off grid. So how would that even work? Um, <clears throat> but I wanted to clarify that, okay? And the reason I said that I'm getting stressed out about these liberal Democrats is I'm seeing them at the stores. I'm seeing them in, in person. There's a grocery store that we go to occasionally and went in there and there's this freak there now and, and it, it has a beard and uh, not as long as mine, but uh, it has a beard and it has upper body like a woman would have. Um, I don't need to say the term there, uh, but it has that. A beard it wears a face mask and has you know rings and whatever and it talks like it's a woman and I don't know what it is you know and I'm just thinking you know this is perversion this is bringing God's judgment and I don't want my son seeing this you know and so we'll go to another line or whatever else but it's just this you know the freaks are not they have no reason to feel ashamed of what they are doing and so something needs to happen something needs to to occur to stop this onslaught of evil because um, most conservative people are just into going and working their job and you know paying their bills and whatever else we just want to be left alone um, we're not out looking for fights uh, but then you get the liberals and while we're making excuses for them they're pushing forward with their agenda and that's the problem there has to come a point in time where we say, okay, line in the sand, no more. This is unacceptable behavior. Um, this is wickedness. Okay. Um, and I'm going to be talking more about that in the future. I guess is what I was trying to get through in that study. A lot of people, like I said, they, they misinterpreted it the wrong way. And they thought, oh, you know, Brian's getting stressed out because he's watching, you know, 
um, Tucker Carlson on Fox News or something and he's bringing up stuff about liberals. And no, no. I'm getting irritated because I'm seeing it. You know, this is, Northern Maine's kind of a conservative, a lot more conservative than Southern Maine. Uh, I really think we should be called North Maine and then you could have South Maine and North Maine. You know, we could be the 51st state, but uh, <laughs> a little too late for that now. I don't think we're going to secede from the Union, but um, as much as I wish we could. But, you know, the, the liberal stuff is coming up here and I really don't want to see, you know, people who don't know how to identify themselves or something this all this weird messed up stuff and go to the store what are you you know oh excuse me sir oh I, i'm not supposed to call you sir it's i'm not supposed to call you a ma'am i'm supposed to call you they or you know uh pink fluffy bunny or something i you know it, it's getting really sickening so um my frustration comes not from watching television in other words but from seeing it in person and having to deal with it and saying, okay, as Christians, what do we do about this? So, um, and I know, it, you know, it's not re vote Republican or something. I, I'm, I'm not fooled by the left-right right paradigm, so don't go into that either. I perfectly understand it. I've spoken against it for many years. The left-right paradigm, that is. So, but getting back to the original purpose of this video, should I do a actual in-depth study on this subject of are we born again today um, should i do that let me know in the comments section below and i would greatly appreciate it hope you're having a good day in the lord hope you're sticking by the king james bible and i will be doing some videos i'm kind of leaning more towards the actual paper based books and it's definitive that way overhead camera stuff but it's challenging right now because we don't have any heat at the office we do, but it's, you know, electric heat, so it's not the best and things. And, um, you know, I have to heat the place up and whatever else. So I need to get things set up differently. I'm, I'm rebuilding my wife's office right now. Uh, so plans for the future, plans for the coming year. And um, so, uh-oh, have some visitors here. There's Luther coming. And who do we have here? <laughs> oh boy, there he went. All right, so that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.